Hello, this is Chris of Magoosh, and today I have some cool tips around doing mental math and shortcuts to help you quickly get at the right answer without ever having to use your pencil or whip out that on-screen calculator. So let's take a look. Okay, in this question, for every seven tons of ore that mega gold mine processes, it recovers 0.48 ounces of gold. How many tons of ore must be processed to recover 60 ounces of gold? Now our first instinct might be to set up a ratio, and there's nothing wrong with that. We would put you know, seven over 0.408, and then we would put equals and then X over 60, and so we have to do a little bit of math here. But a quick mental math way of doing it is asking yourself what number times 0.48, 0.48 is the ounces of gold, will get you to 60. And now you might be looking at me like, I have no idea, why are you asking me these questions? That's crazy hard, and I totally agree, that's crazy hard. That's why we have shortcut number one, which is simplify things. 0.48 is very close to what? 0.5, which is the same as one half. So what number times a half is gonna get you to 60? Well, that answer is 120. Now, if you're wondering how I did that so fast, think of it this way. What number times one is gonna get you to 60? Well, 60, well, half that number one is half, so you wanna double 60, so therefore 120 is that number. Now, all we have to do is multiply seven times 120, which is the same as 12 times seven, which is 84, add the zero, we have 840. And just like that, you can get rid of answers A, B, and C, but you're saying, hey, Chris, that's not that satisfying. I wanted the answer, not two possible answers. And like 840 is really basically right in between them. Why did you just do that? Well, I did that to show you another cool trick, which is, in this case, we're multiplying, or we're trying to figure out what number times one half gets you to 60, and the answer was 120. But 0.48 is a little bit smaller than 0.5. And so we need a number that's a little bit greater than 120. And so we're gonna be multiplying some seven times something greater than 120, which means that it's gonna take it from 840 and push it up. And in that case, there's only one answer choice that's greater than 840, and that is answer choice E, 875. So we really didn't have to do any complex calcul calculations. Could do a lot of this in our head, and then we use the logic of bigger or smaller than in the last step. We knew it had to be bigger than 840, and there's only one answer, and there are the cool two math tricks of the day. So I hope you enjoyed those tips, and for more like those, check out the blog post in the description below, or if you wanna see more videos like this one, check out the ones on the left, and I will see you next time.